Yeah, thank you very much. Today we are kicking off uh, this cyber security information. The lecture is starting today. Try to follow up because it's uh, something that will help you and your family, well wishers, your friends. But it's all about everybody. Because I think 100% of or 90% of your friends do visit the internet. And this is all about the cyber security. How you can secure yourself, secure your brother, secure your sister, secure your family. And this is the reason why we are all here to learn. We all are learning. Even though we are the instructor and you are the listener, so you just need to pay close attention to every every steps that you are going to take. So as we are starting today, if you don't mind, here is the info zone, IPA, Internet Security. We are bringing this to you because uh, many things are happening on the internet world. That is the cyber world now. So we welcome you back. Remember that cyber security is a shared responsibility. So that is why we have told you to share it to your neighbors. Let them know of all about uh, this, uh, let me call it projects. Call it projects because it's a project for everybody. And today's topic, we just be introducing the cyber security awareness and the, the cyber defense. So how do you defend yourself? What do you know about cyber security? What do you know about the internet, about the social media, wherever that you are visiting, that will help you, help your people, help your family to navigate or to avoid the effects of cyber crime and the rest of them. Yeah, the next slide. Internet world start usage and population statistics. According to statistics, if you visit the website above, you see clickz.com, you see the internet wordstats.com. There is where you can get information about how people use internet, how many percent are using it, how many percent are not using it. So when you visit there, you see that what we are trying to, to bring to you is not something that, that is invisible. It's something that is visible. And if you check it very well, you can see from what they said, they are that 2019 the internet users now make up 58.8% of the global population. That means even the people that are using internet now, are more than people that are not using internet. On average people, on average people spend six hours and 42 minutes online each day. So you will see how many hours people spend on internet alone, on internet, spending it on online, doing one or two things, whether positive, or negative this is the hour on average each person spent on a daily average so the next slide another statistic still should remember from the first place we have two website there total population 7.7 .7 billion internet users 4.52 billion mobile users 4.68 billion if you check this stats, you see that out of 7.7, .7, internet users are using 4.52. And out of those internet users, you see that people that are even using phone is 4.68. If you subtract this 4.68, 4.52 from 4.68, you get 
the number of those that are using phone that are not for internet which means majority of people use phone for this internet we are talking about social media users 3.49 social media users on mobile 3.26 you see the increment up to nine percent increase next slide please our society is influencing by educational okay now here is the places where all these suffers those people that uses phones those people that uses laptop or desktop or whatever they use to access internet their purpose of accessing internet is possibly because of educational resources social media websites like the facebook like the instagram like the telegram like the TikTok, like the twitter even youtube and the rest of them this is this these are the people that are using it web applications there are some applications on websites which people are using their phones their laptop to visit on a daily basis shopping sites you will see some shoppings like alibaba you see amazon you get a uh, gg you get a uh, uh, what are they calling that so so many of them many shopping sites are available online you see online business some people use this internet for their businesses on daily activities internet marketing some people market their business for instance on facebook you see some pages people marketing their businesses people marketing this people marketing that selling here and there Reset on almost every day it keep flowing like that and all these are very very crucial part of my life that we do with every day i must tell you that some people even spend up to 24 hours on internet daily some people are using it for automation of social skills positive and negative this is the excessive use of informational resources on the internet without the basic knowledge of the best methods to use it because all, many people are using this some people doesn't have the basic knowledge of the best methods to use the internet all they know is that they are using internet and there's no one going back you can ask somebody using internet for his or her business not to use it because you don't know the basic or don't have the knowledge of the best method and this is the reason why many people fall victim of scammers many people fall victim of hackers many people fall victim of different aspects of it just because they don't know how to use this and this is actually contributing a lot technologies makes society physically and mentally unfit this is just the summary of everything because now technology is taking over the whole world you see technology in here you see technology in there people are using it for different things entirely people are using it in one way or the other people are using it in many ways of which you cannot even address it in on on a day and some people don't know how to use other things and this is the reason why you have come up with this particular place to teach you to let you know how you can navigate this so that tomorrow you won't have any heart of crying to anybody see what happened to me see what happened to me or see what that that happened to me that they scam me that they did not scam me we don't want all those things following this particular channel or following our page definitely looking into this thing critically and assessing yourself you will bear yourself a witness that yes and beat yourself yes that you can do this you can beat your chest and say okay you can say this thing very well and you will not be victim of this many people will think that yes because i know my password and you don't know my password somebody cannot attack you no it is not it is not it is not true even people that create the social media that you normally enter 
always sometimes fall victim. So nobody is island of this. Nobody is free from this. Everybody, each and every one of us are victims of the circumstance. If you don't know the basic knowledge of cyber security, that is what we are trying to tell you here. You just need to know, get the basic knowledge. You just need to get the basic knowledge. And as such, there is need to learn ways to secure ourselves in the cyberspace. Cyberspace is very, very wide. Comprises of all these places where people visit both YouTube, but it is using it for markets, using it for transaction, something. Don't you know that even USDD, USSD is internet using because people can, when somebody get that, so you, you, your account is, is gone. So you need all these techniques to defend yourself, to secure yourself from all these people that normally do this. Next slide. Since we all have identities on the cyberspace, we are unarguably vulnerable. Because in case if you are arguing, if you are making an argument that I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a victim, as far as you have identity, even in your phone, you have identity there. On Facebook, you have identity. On social, every social media, you have identity. Even your WhatsApp, you have identity. Even your TikTok, you have identity. So you need to learn all those techniques, all ways of navigating these things so that you can be fit and be safe. This is what we are talking about. Even I that is even telling you this now, I'm not free from this. It's only that, okay, let me see how I can do this so that I can be secured. Next slide, please. You can only reduce your vulnerability by knowledge of cybersecurity. Without getting the knowledge of this, you are not secured. You cannot even reduce the, the vulnerability that you are. Let me put it that you are still like 70% vulnerable to this if you don't know cybersecurity. So cybersecurity will help you to reduce all this risk at least, at least to 40% or 30%. Next slide, please. So now, I will be uncovering timely, relevant, and reliable security information that would help you navigate the cyber world safely and confidently. This is what I'm doing here now. So don't mind. Just pay attention. Follow all the steps. I will be revealing to you. Today is just an introduction of what we are going to do. What we, what we are about to learn. We will be using Facebook. We will show you many things what to do on your Facebook so that people will not hack it. We will show you what to do on your TikTok so that people will not have access to it. We will show you how to use this so that people will not have access to it. We will show you how to use your, your, your browser so that you will be safe. All those places where you visit are where they can get you. You have identity. Even your browser, you have identity. Because one way or the other, you must have registered something on the internet. How will you say about that? Next slide. Okay, please subscribe for further updates. This is just an advice. It is not much. If you cannot subscribe, just leave it. If you cannot, then just but tomorrow don't start posting that something happened that you don't nobody should should respond to message from this or that. Are you getting it? So that is why we are here. So I thank you so much for this introduction. Next, next page will be a, a, a very blowing one that, we, that will actually help you to navigate uh, social uh, media, this, all the cyber security and the rest of them we will be uh, uncovering it for you so that you can use it, learn it and follow it up so that you will be free from cyber crime and cyber uh, 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 fishers they are out there trying to see those that doesn't have a little knowledge about cyber security so thank you very much thank you very much for watching thank you very much for today thank you